You what is up, Phenom fam? Welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome to the very start of our WWE 2K19 Universe Mode series. Of course, we're excited to get this started. We're actually recording the draft. Uh, we're recording this a week before the game comes out, but you guys aren't going to see it until probably the day the game launches, or at least the, the early access period for the, the deluxe edition and such. So this should go live on Friday, October 5th at some point. But, of course, we're recording this a week before, so we don't have the game to play in the background or anything like that. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do from an editing standpoint. I'm sure you guys are going to figure it out at some point. But really quick, before we get into the actual draft, because I, I know that's why you guys are here, we're just going to really quick recap the important things you guys need to know to understand what's going on in the draft for today. So similar to what we did with 2K18, uh, our draft order is going to be... We'll pick... A male each, and then another male, so it'll go back and forth. Then we'll each pick a female, and then we'll each pick a tag team. And we're going to keep going in that order until, pretty much until we get pretty much everybody on the on the main active roster. There's going to be some people that we're going to uh, skip over, but uh, we're also not doing Legends. Uh, we're not doing The Undertaker. We are leaving out Paige. Uh, am I missing anything else, Major, off the top of my head? Um, majority of tag teams will be staying together. Uh, yes. I believe we settled on the Shield and the Riot Squad will not be drafted together. They have to be dra drafted uh, individually. Uh, whoever drafts The Miz may draft Maurice as well, but that will not count as a female pick. Same thing goes with if you draft Rusev, you can draft Lana with him, and that also will not count as a female pick. Yeah, and uh, other than that, we did make a deal before the draft, which was, if you guys remember last year, uh, we made the deal that I would have the Hardy Boys when they came out, because last year they were DLC, and Tyler on SmackDown would get the New Day. We did the same deal and expanded upon it this year, so Raw now has the Hardy Boys and all four members of the Bullet Club, that's AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson. And in return, SmackDown, of course, once again gets the New Day, but we also get all four members of the Undisputed Era, which consists of Roderick Strong, Adam Cole, Bebe, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. And guys, that's pretty much all that you need to know, and we're going to start getting into the draft here. And off camera, we did a coin flip. Of course, it was fair. Tyler was the one who officiated the coin flip. He did the, the flippage of the coin, if you will. And uh, I came out on top. So I get the first draft order. We're going for our first male pick, the first pick of our 2K19 series. Oh, God, I'm going to throw up. My first pick, the first draft to Raw, is the architect, Seth Rollins. I hate you. I knew that was going to be the first pick overall, regardless. I figured that was going to be the first pick, regardless of if I went first or you went first. So, Well, Seth Rollins I drafted last year. He was my second pick for SmackDown. It sucks to see him go, but I know you will do well with him. I know he will be taken good care of on Raw, but I do have to correct you on something. You are actually wrong. I'm wrong. If, if I would have won the coin flip, and would have gotten the first draft pick. I might as well just say it, because I'm sure you know what I'm about to say. SmackDown, the first pick for the second year in a row, is the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. But I, to be fair, I was going back and forth on them. Yeah. Seth was this close, I will say. Okay. Well, I'll just edit that later. So we got our first picks out of the way. Now we're going to go into a male superstar yet again. So the second male draft pick for don't do it, don't you do Monday Night Raw is Daniel Bryan. That was my next pick, of course. I do hate you. Daniel Bryan was left out last year because he was retired, but we are very happy that he's back. We did have a storyline planned with him. If you guys watched our stream, we talked about it ad nauseum. But uh, yeah, we're glad that he is finally back in action and we can have him from the start here. Uh, the second draft pick, I'm bummed out you got Daniel Bryan, but 
I feel like my second draft pick for SmackDown is the next best thing. SmackDown officially drafts Johnny Gargano. That's not where I thought you were going, to be honest with you. I love Johnny Gargano. All right, so we're heading into females. Hope you all like my butt right there. My first female pick for Monday Night Raw is Alexa Bliss. I can take a deep breath at least. So, I feel like in a way you were kind of doing me a favor. Yeah, in a, yeah, pretty much. I do appreciate that because you can pretty much already tell who my first female draft pick oh, is. Oh, I know exactly who it is. So, history has repeated itself with Dean Ambrose being the, once again, the first draft pick for SmackDown. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. The first female pick for SmackDown for the second year in a row is the Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. I mean, to be fair, you're a way bigger fan of Becky Lynch than I yes. am. Anyway. I mean, I, I I do really like Becky Lynch, but you're like Massive. leaps and bounds ahead of me in the fandom of Becky Lynch. So and to be you definitely deserved her regardless. To be fair, I feel like Alexa might have been your first pick anyway, ever since I sent you that video of her saying that Crash Bandicoot was her favorite video game <laughs> of all time. I mean, you know, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, man. He's he's the best. What can I say? So tag teams are going next. into tag teams. My first tag team selection is Day one-ish, The Usos. That is an amazing pick, but I honestly didn't, would not have pictured you picking them first. Wanted to, wanted to go with something different. Nice, nice. I think I know what your first pick is, though, and it kind of... Mm, kind of bothers me because they were my second pick. At least who I think you're going to go with. I don't think... <sighs> my first tag team pick... See, I'm going back and forth right now. My first tag team pick is not who I wrote down first because I feel like they are going to be your next team. And I'm sorry if they were your next pick, but the first team drafted to SmackDown doesn't only set the bar. They are the bar. Seamus and Cesaro. I respect I respect that pick, and that's also kind of an Easter egg to the first draft, because I said that after, like, every single one of your picks, almost. But not who I thought you were going with, so my second pick is still is still there, which I'm, I'm happy about. Okay, that makes me nervous. All right, so, guys, things are probably going to go a little bit faster now that we've kind of, you know, you guys know how the draft order is going to go, so we're just going to get going a little bit quicker now. So... Back up to male superstars. My next pick for a male superstar for Raw is the Viper, Randy Orton. I didn't think you'd pick him. Because of what he did to Jeff Hardy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, well unfortunately for me, that throws out a plan that I was hoping for. That I did do for 2K18, that I wanted to do for 2K19. I mean, keep in mind, we still do have the post the draft, draft negotiation that, right. that we can do. But that is right. We'll have to see what happens there. But for the time being, you messed it up. But the next draft pick for SmackDown Live is Alistair Black. Nice, nice. That's a good one. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, my next pick for Monday Night Raw is the current Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Okay, okay. I'll give that to you. So, strong pick right there. You got the big dog. My next pick... For SmackDown Live is the former NXT champion, Drew McIntyre. Nice, nice. 
All right. All right, so now we're on to our female pick. Yes, we are. My second female draft pick for Monday Night Raw is... I think I know who it is. Bailey. I know it. Good pick, good pick. I try, I try. Well, I will say she probably most likely was going to be my next pick, but it does pay off, though. Because the next female pick for SmackDown Live is Ruby Riot. Nice, nice. And now we are on to tag teams. So my next tag team pick is The Ascension. Okay. All right. I'll give you that. Uh, I, like I know it. it's kind of controversial because they've been, you know, messed around with on WWE TV as of late, but we can give them redemption. Of course. That, that's what I'm looking to do. I was doing them redemption in my SmackDown last year. I know you'll take good care of them on Raw. So, my next tag team, I feel like this is going to cost me somehow since I'm already picking them, but... I think I, I think I might know where you're going with this, actually. You pretty much said that last year. So once again, history is repeating itself. But my next tag team for SmackDown Live is Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. I'm not going to lie. They were my next tag team pick, too. <laughs> Which is what you said last year. History repeating itself, I guess. There we go. I'm having fun with this. All righty, guys. Round three of the draft. My first, well, first pick in this round, I guess. But my next, next draft pick for Raw is the monster among men, Braun Strowman. All right, good pick, good pick. So my next pick was what I really hoped to get last year, and I'm very glad this year... I'm taking him from you from Raw. Welcome to SmackDown Live. The Miz with Maurice. <laughs> that was my next pick. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. I respect it. I respect it. Now, just know, guys, last year, some people pointed out that uh, we were always going, oh, that was my next pick. That was my next pick. We like the same people. So, obviously, yeah. they're all going to be high on the list. So, And I'm sure, just like last year, people are going to shit on us for how low certain people are, like... Brock Lesnar is lower. Ronda Rousey is almost at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. I mean, you know, the good thing about wrestling is everybody has their favorites and everyone has their least favorites and people they just don't like at all. And, uh, yeah, so. You like who you like. You hate who you hate. Yeah, that's just really what it comes down to. That's really what our draft order comes down to for the most part. Yeah. So, moving on. My next pick for... Monday Night Raw is the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. All right, good pick, good pick. The next draft pick for SmackDown Live, we go from awesome, let me make sure, yeah, from awesome to glorious Bobby Roode. I respect it, I respect it. I respect it even more because he was also my next pick. <laughs> hey, all right, guys, you know what? Have fun with it. Take a shot every time one of us say that was my next oh pick. Oh, my God, they'd die. You're telling Somebody me. would die. <laughs> females. All right, moving on to females. All right, so the next pick for Monday Night Raw is Ember Moon. <sighs> okay. So, you know, a lot of these are not even my next pick, but I am, I'm like, oh, damn it, I wanted them. Yeah. So, the next pick for SmackDown Live is Sarah Logan. Nice, nice. Now, tag teams. Going down to the tag team division. All right, where are we at? All right. 
So my next tag team is the Bludgeon Brothers. All right. Things are Good picks. heating up here. Let's see. I might have to change it up now. I mean, I do have great tag teams, at least, anyway. But my next tag team pick for SmackDown Live is... So this is hard right now. It's probably going to come back to haunt me, but The Mighty, who you might remember as TM61. All right, all right, all right. I respect it. You You did some cool things with them on SmackDown. Yes, I did. For, for last year's universe mode, so I respect that. They were not my next pick on the list, but I felt like I had to change it up, and I feel like that's about to haunt me. Well, you'll have to find out in the next round, Tyler. All right, so the next pick for Raw, which is, of course, a male, if you're following along with the draft order, is Kevin Owens. I hate you. Well, that's not very nice. I know. I'm we're sorry. not in character right now, Tyler. It's a preview. Think of it that way. Okay, well, then PG! <laughs> but I didn't say anything on PG. It doesn't matter. That's true. <laughs> All right, that was great pick right there. My next pick for SmackDown Live is none other than the bruiserweight, Pete Dunn. Nice, nice. I respect that. I respect it. There were some people like him that I feel like were probably way further down on my list than they should be, but just because I don't really know anything about them or I haven't really watched them, I just, you know what I mean? I think that's why I kind of had, like, like I was safe to at least get him because I know yeah. you don't know that much about the UK superstars. Yeah. <clears throat> but moving on, my next pick is the man that they call the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. All right, all right. Good, good. I feel like what I'm about to do, because I'm going back and forth on these two, I feel like it's going to help you because it involves something that you had asked me as far as the whole rules go. So I'm hoping I'm at least returning the favor for what you did with me with Becky Lynch. So my next draft pick for SmackDown Live, if I had to rate him, He'd be a perfect 10. Ty Dillinger. Females, next up for me is, I believe she's the current NXT Women's Champion, Kyrie Sane. Good pick, good pick. I was going to say her nickname, but I wasn't 100% sure on what it was. It's the uh, Pirate Princess, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Um... Okay. My next female pick. I'm going to change this up too. My next female pick is Dana Brooke. All right. I respect it. I respect it. That was another one that I had asked about. Yeah. If she would go along with titles worldwide or not. All right. Speaking of which, tag teams. That's a nice little segue. My next tag team pick is Sanity. All right, good pick. Hopefully, Killian Dane won't disappear into <laughs> nothingness like he did on, uh, on what was that, the, the Judgment Day pre-show, I believe. So yeah. uh, hopefully that won't happen again. Go back and watch that. It's Yeah, Judgment Day? I believe it was the Judgment Day pre-show, yeah. Judgment Day pre-show on his channel. Go back and watch what happens. That was... Uh, that was interesting i do appreciate how you did the little metal gear solid thing with us then yeah <laughs> okay my next tag team Oops. i'm gonna go with it it is ironic that i picked dana brooke because my next tag team pick is titus worldwide nice 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 <sighs> I'm having fun with this. I know I've said it, but I'm having fun with this. All right, so getting to the next round here. The next pick for Monday Night Raw 
is Y2J Chris Jericho. You're going on the list. Actually, he's going on the list of, of my, my the Raw Superstars. If there are kids watching this, you can't see what I'm doing. He's to giving me the middle finger, guys. I don't appreciate it. My next pick for SmackDown Live. I'm going to jump a little forward on my list here. I draft for SmackDown Live Baron Corbin. Nice. I respect that. I respect that. <clears throat> All right. My notes app keeps, like, whenever I close my phone, it keeps just, like, throwing me to a random place in the document, and it's never where I want it to be. Oh, Baron Corbin was actually my second to next pick. But the person in between Jericho and Corbin was the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. Okay. All right. So now if I wanted to, I could reform the Deleter of Worlds if I, if I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the, apparently the Hardy Boys entrance and Titan Trons and whatnot. It's not in the game. Fantastic. Beautiful. So you might as well just do, you know, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt if they even have an entrance. I mean, <clears throat> I guess the closest thing would be to just use Jeff Hardy's Tron and everything. Yeah. Since it's pretty close, but still. But still, you annoying. have like a generic entrance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true because their entrance motion isn't in the game. Damn it, 2K. What are you doing, man? SmackDown Live. Drafts from NXT. Velveteen Dream. Nice, nice. I love that guy. Another thing is I'll mostly miss out on NXT picks just because I don't watch NXT, so I know you're going to draft them way before I do. But all the NXT we did watch was damn good, though. Yeah, it was. Anytime you tuned in, you were in for a treat. But, uh... Yeah, so moving on to females here. My next pick is Sasha Banks. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I know you are. But... <laughs> All right. My next I feel pick... like I might have just handed you one because I, I skipped over. Honestly, I don't even think I... I don't think I typed down Sasha, Charlotte, and Asuka. So, by all means, if you want them, go right ahead. Uh, I really only wanted Sasha out of those two, to be honest. I'm, sh I'm sure I'll draft them eventually. Yeah. But... Well, it's kind of like last year. I'm like, yeah, y'all go ahead. Pick them. I don't care. Yeah. My next female pick is... I'm going to jump on the list here. Carmella. Mella is money. Absolutely. I'm All so right. happy she darkened her hair. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Now, this next tag team pick, I don't... I'm just going to do it and hope that it doesn't bite me later on. But I'm going to go for the... You know, they have a best-selling book out, the New York Times bestseller, the book called Pain. We're going with the authors of Pain. They're coming to Monday Night Raw. I hate you. <laughs> Do you hate me because that, that whole intro to me picking them about their best-selling book, or do you just hate me because I picked them? I was going to say I'm joking, but now part of me hates you for actually having that little <laughs> intro. Because that was too good. It's a New right. York Times bestseller. All right, great pick, though. Great pick. They deserve better than what they're doing on Raw right now, I will say. Uh, my next tag team is... From NXT, the Street Profits. Nice, nice, nice. At least you didn't pick my next team, so I'm glad it didn't bite me. So, they're still safe. I'm surprised you haven't picked a certain team. I think I know what team you're thinking of. Which is probably next. And I'm pr it's next. If, if, if we're thinking of the same team, then it is next. All right. So, the next male pick for Monday Night Raw... That's going to go to Cedric Alexander. 
See, I keep doing this all the time, but I think it's kind of unfair because it's literally everybody I want. I was going to say current cruiserweight champion, but I don't think that's correct. He is. Oh, okay. He still well, is. I know he was at, at WrestleMania, but... At the time of recording, he is still the cruiserweight champion. <laughs> Watch tomorrow. He loses it at like a house show or something. Well, next Saturday morning at like three in the morning or whatever. Is the when, Super Showdown or whatever. And he's facing Buddy Murphy, who should be in the game. At least DLC. All right. The next pick for SmackDown Live is... The next pick for SmackDown Live will be Cassius Ono. Nice, nice. The next pick for Monday Night Raw is formerly Mr. Five Moves of Doom, currently Six Moves of Doom, John Cena. <sighs> Good pick. All right. The next pick for SmackDown Live is, before I pick him, I have a question. What's up? Who wants to walk with Elias? Uh, I mean, I guess you do, because you picked him. Yes. Elias is coming to SmackDown Live. I mean, evidently, I want to walk with him, too, because he was my next pick. But I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'll walk, like, behind him, I guess. <laughs> well, I am going to go with N Naomi. Good pick. Good pick. I try. I try. If you give her the Raw Women's title, you're going to try to do the Glow title? I mean, maybe. I, I doubt that there's options in the game to make it look great. You probably great. have to like, down, like download the title, if anything. Yeah. Okay. My next female pick is... Mickey James. Nice, nice. Tag teams. This is getting really annoying that my phone just randomly throws me to a random place in the document every time I reopen it. All right, so tag teams. My next tag team, and if any of you guys watch 2K18, you know exactly why I'm doing this. I knew it. We're going. I knew it. With the B team. I knew it. Bo Dallas coming back home to Monday Night Raw. This wasn't what I was talking about when I was saying I was trying to return the favor, but at the same time, I was trying to hold off on the B team because I knew you wanted Bo Dallas. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I feel like, um, I mean, I have to think about it, but I feel like I might end up giving Curtis Axel a shaft. So, I mean, during our post-draft negotiations, I might be open to giving it back to you. That's so. a possibility. So we'll see, what, we'll see what happens, but... One thing I will say, if I take Curtis Axel, because you're probably just going to do the gimmick thing with Bo Dallas again, I call for rights for the Battle Scars theme. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I love that song. I hate the fact they change it to that, that B team, B team. I hate how they did that. Yeah. All right. My next tag team, my next tag team is Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose Absolution. Nice, nice. Which, granted, I don't think they're called that anymore ever since the page thing. But we're going to call them that anyway. I think I forgot to ask you if you were drafting them as a team, because I actually had them both separate in uh, female picks, but whatever. I I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we... We probably started. talked about it, but like while I was doing the... While I was actually typing this out. I think it was when you asked about the Ride Squad, and then I think I said, Ride Squad will be separate, but we can do Absolution together. Yeah. All right, so we're getting set for our next picks, I guess would be the way to say it. But, uh, all right, so Monday Night Raw selects Sammy Zayn. You're welcome. That's what you were setting up for me? Yes, because <laughs> you had asked about Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn, and I said, we'll just do them separate. Yeah. So when you drafted Kevin Owens, I'm like, maybe he wants them both. So that's what I was trying to return the favor with. Nice, nice. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. So my next pick for SmackDown Live from NXT, Lars Sullivan. Nice, nice, nice. 
All right. <clears throat> so my next pick is Dolph Ziggler. All right, good pick. My next pick for SmackDown Live is a man who actually looked at me when I went to NXT take over Philadelphia. He looked at me and he waved at me. He was waving at everybody, but he looked at me first. <laughs> SmackDown Live drafts Tyler Bate. Nice, nice. All right. Yeah, no joke. He's like looking at everybody, smiling, and everybody's waving. I'm going, hello, hello. <laughs> and right as he made eye contact with me, that's when he started waving. <laughs> I'm like, hello. <laughs> all right so oh well, female. female my next pick is going to be Nia Jax all right good pick all right my next female pick will be Liv Morgan there's that bone I was trying to throw you I passed her up for Sasha Banks <laughs> thank you no problem, no problem. I have to try to return the favor again now. All right, so my next pick might cause a little bit of controversy, but it is the Lucha Dragons. All right. Good pick. Good pick. My next tag team. I believe they were actually my first draft pick last year, and it, it sucks that I had to draft them solo this year. But my next tag team is Fandango and Tyler Breeze Breezango. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we're uh, we're getting a slim pickings in in some of the in the tag teams and and the women here. So we can tell you guys right now, even once we finish females and tag teams, there's going to be a lot of male picks after that. <clears throat> All righty, guys, back up. Monday Night Raw selects The Big Show. Paul White. Paul White. Good pick. All right. SmackDown Live. The next pick will be Shelton Benjamin. Nice, nice. I respect it. He was coming up. He was coming up for me pretty soon. All right, well, I just picked the big show. We're going to go the opposite end of the spectrum here, pick a cruiserweight. We're going to go Mustafa Ali. That was a great pick. So the next pick for SmackDown Live will be R-Truth. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we are now on to some more female picks. I am going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Asuka. Thank you. Okay. My next pick for SmackDown Live... We... Well, I should say I. I am going to... I feel like I am able to break this technicality now. Since... Neither of us have drafted Rusev yet. SmackDown Live drafts Lana. Nice, nice. I was trying to hold out because I had a, you know, maybe you wanted her and Rusev, but it's like, I'm going to pick her now. Might as well. Yeah. But, so, now we're on to tag teams, and I am going to go with, I mean, I guess we're, we're down to really slim pickings. I think we only got like three or four teams left here. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Bella Twins. All right, good pick. Try to build out my, my women's roster a little bit more. I already know what's going to happen now with tag teams. It happened with you last year. Now it's going to happen with me. And the one of us is going to get stuck with the revival. <laughs> because if there... Well, I have three written down because I didn't write down the revival. But it's four, including them, because you had them written down. So that means you get the Bella Twins out. There's three left. Then I take one, then you take one, and I'm down with the revival. I mean, 
there could be the off chance that I pick the revival. Maybe. I mean, we could use jobbers. True, true, true. Guys, don't hate us, but we hate the revival. Fuck the revival. PG, Tyler. There's a little preview. God damn it. PG. PG. My next pick for tag teams will be, we decided we're going to have them as a tag team, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, American Alpha. Nice, nice. All right. We're going to edit our lists and... All righty, guys. We're back up at the top of the draft order. We're going back to males. And, guys, the next raw pick is the man who, whenever he speaks on a microphone, drops WWE stocks. Oh, my God. It is the big red machine, the big red monster, whatever you want to call him, Kane. I call him Mayor. Mayor Kane. I mean, you know, that's what the people of Knoxville County call him. Mr. Mayor. First offense there, you get a choke slam. Second, you get a tombstone. Third, you get burned alive. So I've heard, so I've heard. All right. So I'm going to change it up here because this was not my next pick. The next pick for SmackDown Live is Long Island Ice Z, Zack Ryder. He was my next pick. He was my next pick. Right. Although I'm going to jump ahead a little bit in my list here. I'm going to go. Just to create a theme for this round for Raw, we're going with a, another masked individual, Tyler. Okay. We're going, the pre one of the pre-order bonuses for the game, Rey Mysterio. Take him. Take him. Go right ahead. Well, I do have to thank you, because that gives me the opportunity to reform these two. I pick Zack Ryder, and now SmackDown Live drafts Kurt Hawkins. Nice, nice. But will he break his losing streak? I think that's up to you. Bet. That's up to you. Bet. That's up to you, Tyler. He, he didn't win once in 2K18, but there's that chance in 2K19. Didn't you only have like two matches with him? I think so. <laughs> All right, so now we're down to females, and I am going to pick. Oh God. Um. I guess we're gonna go with Natalia. Damn it. All right, good pick. All right, my next pick for SmackDown Live will be Alicia Fox. Nice, nice. All right, down to tag teams. Here we go. I'm just going to throw you the bone because I have no clue who they are. I'll I'll pick the Revival as much as it pains me to do so. I'll job them out to, to people. Why not? Well, I mean, you can think of it positive like that with getting the Revival. I mean, I guess, but still. Well, I thank you for that because we were down to two teams. It was them and what will now be the final tag team pick for SmackDown Live, Heavy Machinery. I don't even know who those dudes are. They're from NXT. I mean, I know that, but like, I don't even, just because I wrote them down as Heavy Machinery, like I couldn't even tell you their name. So I feel like it'd be a disservice for me to take them and try to do something with them anyway. All right. So we're done with teams. So now it's just down to... We have Male and females, but I think we only have like four females left too, so they're going to be out pretty soon too. All right, so we're back drafting another male superstar to Monday Night Raw. We are going to go with TJP, try to fill out our cruiserweights a little bit. My next pick for SmackDown Live will be Mojo Rawley. All right. My next pick is... Going to be, uh, eh, screw it, I'll just do it now, Brock Lesnar. Have fun using him, like, three times. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, at least you're being realistic. <laughs> Alright. That's what we strive for here, realism. <laughs> My next pick for SmackDown Live will be Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Nice, nice, nice. guess I'll just go with Charlotte. Uh, I only have one left written down, so the final draft pick, which I think actually was the last pick overall, also for SmackDown, obviously, last year was Tamina. Oh, I didn't even have her. <laughs> Damn. 
Yeah, whatever. All right, well, let's just do this right now. What females do you have written down left? I have Rousey, Baszler, and Bianca Belair. Um, all right, pick one. Right, Ronda Rousey, I guess. Uh, I'll draft Bianca Belair. And did you want to leave Shayna Baszler out, or? If you want. I mean, I don't care. I would have just used her as a jobber. I freaking hate her. I mean... Right, so... we, we, we can keep talking, don't worry. I mean, do you... It doesn't really matter to me. Do you want to just give me Baszler and I could job her out? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, go right ahead. No. It doesn't matter to me. Alrighty, guys, so we've only got males left, so we're kind of just going to try to rapid fire a little bit through this. Um, let's see, let's see what I have left here. Uh, I'm going to go with Hideo Itami. Good pick. Smackdown Live now drafts Jinder Mahal. That was my next pick. That was my next pick. I guess we're going to go Andrade C and Almas. Go right ahead and take him. And since Zelina Vega is not playable, but... Manager, at least. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably have her manage him. The next draft pick for SmackDown Live will be Oni Lorcan. I do, do not have him on here at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh... The <clears throat> next, uh, I guess I'll go with Rusev next. Okay. Rusev minus Lana, so that's, eh, it's whatever. The next draft pick for SmackDown Live will be Goldust. Damn it, how did I miss him too? What the hell was I doing? This, this, is, what, this is what I get for doing my draft order at like 3 in the morning. I really hope I didn't miss anybody else big, but I probably did. Uh, I'm going to go with Akira Tozawa. Good pick. The next pick for SmackDown Live will be Drew Gulak. Okay, okay. Taking some of the cruiser. All right, my next pick is going to be, let's go No Way Jose. Alright, good pick. The next pick for SmackDown Live will be Noam Dar. Nice, nice, nice. We're getting right near the end now, guys. My next pick is going to be... Let's go Tony Nice. I don't know. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah. Alright. Sweet. I draft to SmackDown Live... Arya Davari. All right, all right. I don't know about you, but I have two names left. Yeah, me too. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go with Grand Metalik. And I'll finish it up with uh, Lince Dorado. Oh well, then you're missing a name, pal. Unless we already drafted him, and I didn't realize. Who? Aiden English. I guess I'll just take him then yeah. since it's my pick anyway. Might as well. Alright, so I guess Raw finishes off the draft by picking Aiden English. I mean you got Rusev Day at least. Yeah. We'll see if I if I end up doing anything with them. If I keep them together or not. But so just to summarize, guys, alright, so the draft picks for Raw went like this, starting with the males. We have Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan. Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens, Shinsuke Nakamura, Chris Jericho, Bray Wyatt, Cedric Alexander, Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, Sami Zayn, Big Show, TJP, Mustafa Ali, Kane, Andrade Cien Almas, Rusev, Tony Nice, No Way Jose, Rey Mysterio, Brock Lesnar, Hideo Itami, Grand Metalik, Akira Tozawa, and Aiden English. And those were all in the order that I was originally going to draft them in. So, 
if you guys wanted to hint at how that was going to go. I think mine's going to go the same way. Plus, I have some scattered all over the place, too, now. But for SmackDown Live, male-wise, SmackDown drafted Dean Ambrose, Johnny Gargano, Aleister Black, Drew McIntyre, The Miz with Maurice, Bobby Roode, Pete Dunne, Ty Dillinger, Velveteen Dream, Baron Corbin, Elias, Cassius Ono, Lars Sullivan, Tyler Bate, Shelton Benjamin, R-Truth, Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins, Mojo Rawley, Jack Gallagher, Jinder Mahal, Oni Lorcan, Goldust, Drew Gulak, Noam Dar, Arya Davari, and Lince Dorado. All right, so your uh, female <clears throat> SmackDown, or yeah, not SmackDown, Raw roster goes like this. Alexa Bliss, Bailey, Ember Moon, Kyrie Sane, Sasha Banks, Asuka, Naomi, Natalia, Nia Jax, Charlotte, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, and the Bella Twins. And over on SmackDown, our females are Becky Lynch, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, Dana Brooke, Carmella, Mickey James, Liv Morgan, Lana, Alicia Fox, Tamina, and Bianca Belair. And you, what did you say? You, you have the Iconics too. And the Iconics, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, along with Absolution, uh, Mandy Rose, and Sonya Deville. Speaking of tag teams, the Raw Tag Team Division looks like this. <clears throat> the Usos, The Ascension, The Bludgeon Brothers, Sanity, Authors of Pain, The B-Team, Lucha Dragons, and The Revival. Over on SmackDown, we got The Bar, The Mighty, Titus Worldwide, Street Profits, Breezango, American Alpha, and Heavy Machinery. Now, everything we just said, keep in mind, that's not the full roster that we each have, because over on SmackDown, we also have The New Day and The Undisputed Era. And of course, that is... That is definitely something worth mentioning because, of course, on Raw, we have the Hardys and we also have the Bullet Club consisting of Finn Balor, AJ Styles, and, of course, Gallows and Anderson. But and, don't forget uh, the SmackDown guys wearing Bullet Club shirt. Exactly, exactly. And also keep in mind, guys, that still is not our full rosters because off camera... Technically, it's our full rosters. It's not our final roster. That's true, actually. Off camera, we are going to discuss... Who is going to get the DLC characters? We actually have already made a small pre-draft DLC uh, deal with each other. But, but of course, who it is? Of course, we can't tell you because we're going to save the DLC people for, you know, surprise debuts at pay-per-views and, and stuff like that. So all the DLC stuff is going to remain a surprise until, of course, you see them on one of the respective shows. But one thing we're also doing post-draft is Tyler and I are going to talk and try to, you know, basically try to persuade each other to get some people off of each other. If that does happen, because last year we were both very stubborn about not giving up anybody. Uh, if anything does change, we will add, we will tack something on at the end of this video saying any changes that happened. But for right now, this is pretty much the overall look that you guys have into our roster for WWE 2K19. And we're recording this early, mostly so that, you know, we know our rosters now. We can start. Uh, get ahead on storylines for the next week before the game comes out. And hopefully the day after the game comes out, we'll be able to get together, record the first couple episodes and see where everything goes. And guys, we are so damn excited to get started. 2K18 did not go the way that we hoped for. We apologize to you guys. We hope you enjoyed what it was at least. But 2K19, we know what we're doing. We know what we have to do. This is our road to redemption. Of course, it's our road to redemption, but in-universe, it's also our road to WrestleMania because we're starting from SummerSlam. We're going all the way to WrestleMania. Day after SummerSlam. Yes, true, true. The, the Raw after SummerSlam until WrestleMania. Guys, like I said, we're excited. I hope you guys are too. And guys, I'm just so excited to get started. I can't wait. Alrighty, guys, so it turns out we're not nearly as stubborn as we were last year, and we actually have made some post-draft uh, deals. So, three. we've made three of them. 
which is way more than I thought. I thought at best we would get one. If we were lucky. We actually got three. <clears throat> so we're going to start off with a women's change that we made. Tyler, you want to tell them about that? Yes. Yeah, so as you guys watched, you guys clearly saw that even though we made the agreement that the Riot Squad would be drafted separately, I was able to get Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, and Liv Morgan. However, Liv Morgan, I was willing to part with because I am actually going to switch her out. Uh, with somebody else for my storyline. So, I made the proposition Liv Morgan being drafted to Raw. In return, I get Natalia. So, that was the first deal that we uh, that we made. The next one that we made, Tyler, would you like to tell them about that one? Of course. So, also, if you guys paid close attention, it was pretty much known that there was that good chance that he was going to part with Curtis Axel. We decided, yes, Curtis Axel will be coming to SmackDown. In return, Goldust will be going to Raw. Goldust, my boy, my boy. And right now, the third one, this is the big one. This is this is by far the biggest one, and I didn't think we would actually have a, a change of roster on this at this scale. Truth be told, I told myself... You know, there's no way he's going to part with him. There's no way I'm going to part with this guy. Lo and behold, it actually, it actually, it took, it, we thought this like five to 10 minutes. Yeah. And then we made the agreement. We shook hands on it, but I'm going to let you do the honors. Okay. So unfortunately, well, it's, it's bittersweet, but I have decided to part ways with Daniel Bryan, and he was my second draft pick. And you guys might think uh, that I might be that this might not be the an equal trade, but it will definitely pay off in the series. I'm not going to spoil it, but it, I, it's going to pay off. Trust me. When he told me what he wanted to do, in my opinion, it was just too good to pass up. I had to give him this guy. So, in return, of course, Daniel Bryan is moving over to SmackDown, but coming from SmackDown to Monday Night Raw is Aleister Black. And, you know, it wasn't really that big of a deal when we did the Goldust-Curtis Axel thing. It was pretty much a given I was going to get Curtis Axel back. Uh, Female-wise, yeah, it was a good trade, but as far as the whole Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan thing... Neither of us probably would have predicted it. I would have, I wouldn't have thought that anyone from like the top half of our list would have gone at all. Yeah. But I mean, seeing as how we both had, you know, things in mind for, you had things in mind for Daniel Bryan. I had things in mind for Alistair Black and they they were were just too good to pass up. So we figured it it was at least fair to uh, give each other the shot to see how these storylines play out for, for each of those characters. And, of course, we're not going to spoil it. Well, but yeah. I mean, obviously, it was okay that we told each other, but my plans with what I wanted to do with Daniel Bryan, he loved it too much. Same thing with what he wants to do with Aleister Black. I loved it too much. We both want to see what each other were going to do with that, so it, we had to we had to make the trade. It was too good. And if you guys are thinking to yourself, well, what the hell, I want to know, then you have to tune in to the WWE 2K19 series Guys, I already kind of did the outro already, but I'm going to do it again, because why not? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to pack a punch that like button. Be sure to subscribe with the notification bell turned on to be notified of all of our uploads, especially the 2K19 uploads. And guys, have a phenomenal day. And guys, Phenom, out.